started off with Kill Switch Engage, the end of Heartache. The reason why I'm picking End of Heartache by Kill Switch Engage is because they're the first band that really got me into what you now know as Metalcore. Because before them, I thought Metalcore was a bunch of garbage. It was just heavy riffs and a lot of vocals. And I was like, that sucks. Because before then, all you had was like Kill Switch Engage. You had... Shadows Fall, which I wasn't really a fan of Kill Switch Engage's first album or Shadows Fall. And when I first heard Kill Switch Engage, End of Heartache, they had melodic vocals and they had harsh vocals. And they also had like clean guitar riffs and really heavy guitar riffs. And I was like, damn, that's aggressive. But they do have that traditional metalcore breakdown. That, do -do 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 but it was sick. It was like, oh my God, this is the heaviest shit ever. You know, some of you guys who don't live in the U.S. might not really be a fan of Metalcore because Metalcore, I think, is very popular in the U.S. But End of Heartache is my favorite album, number five, because it's just fucking aggressive, man. It, it, it took what I like, a guy who can sing and a guy who can uh, do harsh vocals. I love that. I don't love just a guy who does harsh vocals and that's it. I love a guy who can sing. If you can sing your ass off, that is great. And Howard Jones, when he was a singer at that time, Oh my God, that's a win every day, baby. What would have to be the greatest band of all time, supposedly, when it comes to metal is Injustice for All by Metallica. Injustice for All by Metallica, guys, is the greatest produced album when it comes to that genre of music. I, I think it's just very, very produced. Some people might say it's overly produced, but I think the drums on that album sound fucking sick. They're heavy. They're aggressive, you know, they have a, uh, when you hear the song one and they have that little like instrumental part of da 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 and then it gets into the solo, that is the best sounding drum I've ever heard. The drums on there sound sick. A lot of people who play drums want to emulate that sound and I think Lars Ulrich jacked up his career by playing other uh, sounds because that drum set and the way he produced it on that album is like no other album he's ever done. And the Black Album, the Load Album, the Reload Album, the Master Pups Album, they never had that kind of drum sound. And they were to the point that they were like on point. But if you want to hear that album to its full degree, listen to, I think it's called Jason Newstead for All or something like that, or Jason for All. It's basically people remastered the album and put Jason Newstead's bass in there and it sounds phenomenal. This album is the album that really got me into so-called heavy metal, heavy music, thrash metal, whatever you want to call it. It was... Dave Mustaine, Megadeth, and Euthanasia. It is, Euthanasia is Megadeth's version of the Black Album. Why I say that is, it, it became their album that is not super aggressive. It has fast stuff, fast solos, but it's not all fast. There is some songs in it that are like uh, moderately heavy, but slowed down. And a lot of people say that same thing with the Black Album. It was heavy as hell, but it didn't have the aggressiveness like the uh, Master Pups album. But... This album is what got me into metal music today. If it wasn't for the uh, that album, I probably wouldn't even be listening to metal because it was that album when I went into a record store and I picked up a cassette tape and I brought it home and I played it and I would take my cassette tape around, like my boombox around, and ride around on my bike and I would blast the shit out of it and my neighbor would go, shut up, shut up, shut that shit up. And I would be like, nah, this is good music. And before I heard this, I, I, I thought music was, could never be heavy. I didn't know what heavy music was. And when I first heard that album, it was the heaviest shit I've ever heard in my entire life. And ever since then, I, I was trying to uh, listen to other bands. And that's one reason why I love record stores. Because you could go in there back in the day and pick up a record and go, damn, that shit looks aggressive on the cover. You take it home and you listen to oh my god, that's so heavy. But Megadeth is uh, one of my all-time favorite albums, Youth in Asia. This one will have to go to my favorite band of all time, Disturbed and 10,000 Fists. This is the first album by the band <clears throat> that implemented solos and bass intros. If you actually listen to... Overburdened by the band Disturbed and Stricken. You can't deny those are uh, badass riffs. They have heavy riffs with guitar solos, and before then they were known as a new metal band, and they, they tore out of that new metal genre. If you want to call it new metal, that's cool, but for me, they're my favorite band of all time. Every album uh, precedes the other, and this album was the first album that had really high production value, real good solos, and they proved that they were not just a band that couldn't write solos because a lot of bands in that genre of new metal, they're like, well, they, they're, they're good, but they can't write solos. And David Draymond could prove that he could sing his ass off. Dan Dunnigan, the lead guitar player of Disturbed, proved that he could write solos. And I love his solos because he writes solos that you can sing along to that have a melody that are uh, not just shredding. And I don't like the shredding solos that are a thousand miles an hour with no context. Like a um, Carrie King solo. You hear Carrie King and it's like, that sounds like shit. There's nothing behind it. It's just like ripping on notes. Anybody can rip on notes and go, well, before that, I didn't even know who Zach Wilde was because I was not uh, known who Black 
um, label society was. So I heard it and I was like, damn, that's heavy. How is Ozzy or Black Sabbath that heavy? And uh, when I heard Attack Wild for the first time, I was like, that is a very aggressive version of what Black Sabbath is. And you can love them or hate them, but Zach Wild has a really big heaviness when it comes to that genre of music. He sounds very similar to Ozzy's music, very similar to Black Sabbath because he was raised around that music. And I've seen the band three times, and every time I see him, he puts on a phenomenal show. He puts on a show like he's coming to see the fans play. He gets the fans involved. He's a very good frontman, very good guitar solo, uh, is very good uh, rhythm player. But his solos are decent. I'm not a fan of his solos because Zach Wilde likes to just shred. I'm not a fan of shredding solos. But Zach Wilde, I'll say, is one of the greatest guitar players of all time. And this five all day. But if it is five, you got to respect the artists that I put on there because for what they have done in music, it's it's brought music to a whole nother level. Because metal wouldn't be what it is if it wasn't for these bands in the last 20 years. Every band I name have taken their genre of music and proceeded past what it was. Because if you had you had Metallica becoming one of the biggest thrash bands of all time, Megadeth one of the biggest thrash bands of all time, he had Disturbed being the biggest band ever to come out of the new wave of new metal, if you want to call it that. I don't really consider them new metal. I consider them what they're doing today with their guitar solos and everything. I consider them heavy metal music. Everything on this list, I consider when I listen to music, is as heavy rock and roll like, like Ozzy says. It's as heavy music that is heavy. I hate subgenre music. This is thrash. This is punk. This is rock. This is whatever. As always, guys, remember to smash that like button. Let me know in the comment section below what is your five all day. And if you're going to make a video about this, let me know, and I'll definitely check it out. So as always, guys, remember to smash that like button. Hit the subscribe button. I'm Trevor, and I will definitely see you guys in the next video. Thanks for keeping it metal, keeping it brutal, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Middle!